Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We did it. We finally filled up that last case of 2016 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team 43 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. 43 on the 24th, Tuesday. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Tim Haynes with that last spot mojo. Rays, Tampa Bay Rays. Also, just so I won't forget, at the end of the break, one person will get randomized $25 of break credit. It's pretty cool. That could go to a nice uh, Otani spot, random spot for 2018 Bowman Baseball tomorrow. That'd be cool. Here, let me. My my arms warm. I was just keeping my arms warm. It's like when pitchers like put on the jacket. But now, now that I'm on the mound here, I'm ready. All right. Good luck, everyone. This is a good good warm up for me for tomorrow. There'll be a lot of boxes and packs will open up tomorrow. So this is 2016. Take your brains back to 2016. Kind of wanted that there. Okay. Good luck, everyone. The key for long breaks, ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering, aspiring breakers out there, is to uh, not grip, not hold everything too too hard. It's a light touch. You know how when uh, when you throw a baseball or something like that, when you're especially when you're pitching, if you hold on to the ball too hard, you actually don't have that much control over it. When you pitch and you release, you naturally grip a little bit harder at the last pitch, at the last moment. You hold it like an egg, like in Bull Durham, where Kevin Costner says, hold it like an egg, a light touch. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. So we'll breeze through these cards. I think Kenta Maeda is pitching tonight. How did he do today? Uh huh, uh huh. Six innings, one earned run, seven strikeouts on a walk. It's nice. Kenta Maeda seems to be on a nice track this year. Our first autograph is Justin Dunn. Dun 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 dun. Ninety three out of ninety nine. Dun 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 dun. Jared Rupp. No relation to Cameron Rupp, I think. Goes to, this is where Justin Dunn goes to. <laughs> goes to Justin Dunn of Rupp. These will randomize left and right at the end of the break. And the next autograph is behind Max Scherzer, Elias Diaz, rookie auto for Michael Gallucci and his Pirates. Julio Udius, we might see him middle of the year. There's Mike Trout and Garrett Davila for the Royals. Scott McNulty with the Royals. Austin Meadows, Arenado, the boxer. Should be one more autograph. There it is, Alex Kirloff for the Twins. 
That'll be for Conrad. One of their big stars. Up and coming stars for the Twins. That Conforto is not numbered. It almost looked like it was numbered. All right, box one in the books. Next one. So the Dodgers, my Dodgers are tied 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Dodgers. So here on Tuesday the 24th, April 24th, 2018, uh, Rays and O's were postponed. Tigers and Pirates are also postponed due to weather. What's going on out there in Pittsburgh and in Baltimore? Uh, Giants, Giants edging out the Nationals 4-3. Rockies shutting out the Padres 8-0. Mets beating the Cardinals 6-5 in extra innings. Bonus baseball in the 10th. On the road, too. So it looks like they scored in the top of the 10th and held off the Cardinals in the bottom of the 10th. Brewers in Kansas City. Brewers win 5-2. The Angels were in Houston with Otani starting, edging out the Astros 8-7. Oakland, the A's are also, another West Coast team also in Texas. They're in, they're playing the Rangers, and they edged out the Rangers 3-2. Jays. I think that might be a walk-off right there. Jays edging out the uh, Red Sox 4-3 in 10 innings. Diamondbacks beating the Phillies 8-4. Reds beating the uh, the uh, Atlanta Braves 9-7. I was a little surprised there in 12 innings. Yankees beating the Twins 8-3. Cubs over the Indians 10-3. Mariners edging out the White Sox 1-0, and my Dodgers are tied with the Marlins. No. They are down to the Marlins, 3-2. What, what just happened there? It was just 2-2 a second ago. Pedro Baez, come on, Pedro Baez. 3-2, top of the ninth for the Marlins. Pedro Baez. Out of 250, J.P. Crawford. For the Phillies, that'll be for David, Davey with that one. And Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Mets with a couple nice autographs thus far. This goes to Jared Rupp. David Ortiz reveals in Oakland A, Franklin Barreto. That goes to Scott V and the Oakland A's. All right, next mini box. Oh, we got an orange autograph coming up. Behind Josh Donaldson is, wow, Mike Trout, 27 out of 50. Not Matt Tice, Mike Trout, Angels, Jared Perkins. Went fishing, caught a trout. Nice. That is not too shabby at all. We got out of 35, 24 out of 35, Wilson Contreras for the Cubs. That'll be for Jared Perkins as well. Look at that, Jared. Oh, my God, yeah. Nice. Spot on. Spot on, CO Turtle. 27, that's jersey number as well. We usually, we usually never hit those jersey numbers. That is strong. We're always like one off. All right. Behind the mirror image is... Kyle Lewis, Mariners. Karen with the Kyle. Nice 
Nice one, Karen. And Gary Sanchez in the back there. It's a nice box. Nice trout. Bowman Baseball, 2018 Bowman Baseball coming out tomorrow, folks, on the 25th. Keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com for your teams. We add more cases as, as they sell out. You can pre-order now on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check it out. Go. I'm sure we'll spend all day tomorrow breaking that. We'll probably mix in some of that TriStar break, too. Just to just just so I can get, get a breather, I'll probably use those as to catch a breather breaks. So it'll be busy with Bowman baseball tomorrow. I am very excited about it. A lot of uh, there's a lot of great teams there. I know I know the 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 Otani hype is at is at the maximum. You know, but there's really a lot of, um, I mean, there's really a lot of value in other to other teams that you can find. They can just straight up buy it. You can straight up pick and find a lot of value in there because there's a lot of great prospects coming up the ranks. Just in baseball in general, there's been a lot of great prospects. I think, I think Gabriel was saying earlier that MLB had tweeted that um, Ronald Acuna is being called up. Six out of 99, Chris Bryant. So Glaber Torres just got called up. You know, so the future is strong for a lot of these clubs. There's Tim Anderson, who's already called up. I think he's already on, on the team. White Sox, TJ with that one. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's too many players to keep track of. All right, there's Chris Bryant for Jared and the Cubs to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. Brandon Cooks to 99. And this mirror image card is a one per case sort of deal, so we'll we will uh, randomize that separately. Yeah, Tim Anderson has been up, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And behind you, Darvish is Josh Hader for the Brew Crew. Not to be confused with Cardinals is Harrison Bader. Oh, this is Josh Hader for the Brew Crew. C O Turtle. That one. Behind Dansby is Blake Snell. That's a nice Blake Snell. He's pretty solid. Rays, Tim Haynes. Last spot, Mojo. Old Snelly, that's what they call him. Old Snelly. I don't think they call him Old Snelly. There's also a redemption down there. Any anyone want to venture a guess? Try their hand at sorcery on that redemption. Tuki Toussaint, perhaps. GCL reporting, it is official. Golden State beating the Spurs, moving on to the second round. Gabriel says, Toussaint or, uh, or Henry Owens? Right, Dodger Henry Owens. Reclamation Project Henry Owens. No one else feels like guessing? Okay. You are due to receive best best of 2016 autograph of T O U. Yeah, it's Tuki Tucson. For the Braves. 
Always a two. I'm assuming he signed his cards by now. Uh, that goes to Ed. There you go. Braves, Tuki Toussaint. All right. Okay, here's like, there's one thing for certain in 2016 Bowman's best. Death, Taxes, and Tukey as a redemption. All right, so the Dodgers have gotten out of the top of the ninth, in case you were wondering at home. You're watching this like three days later, and you're like, why, am I, why do I care about a game that was on Tuesday night all the way in L.A. against the Marlins? Well, because stupid Dodgers are down 3-2 <laughs> to the Marlins in L.A. going to the bottom of the ninth. we got old, old Muncie, who's in kind of a bit of a slump. Muncie up, followed by Jock Peterson and then Chris Taylor. And if anybody gets on, it would be Corey Seager after that. Good luck, everyone. I think I mi mixed up those two boxes. Oh, well. Out of 250, Tim Anderson for the White Sox, TJ. And the autograph is Mike Clevenger, rookie auto for the Tribe. Nino, back in the action. Back with some hits. Uh, Gabriel, do you think... Uh, you think Walker Bueller's here to stay? Or do you think they'll actually send him back down? You would think that they'll just keep him up, right? I mean, unless if he has a, at least just a decent start against the Giants this weekend. All right, behind Starley Marte is ton. Tyler O'Neill. Always a ton in there, Karen. And a Kyle Lewis, I think. See, I think the innings count is just a cover their butt thing. Like if he doesn't pitch as well as if the, if he doesn't pitch as well as advertised, I think they'll be like, oh, well, innings count. We're gonna hold him back. You know, and then have an excuse to send him down to the minors or something like that. But I think if he continues pitching well, whoa, they're gonna keep going. Nice Lucas Giolito. Although Lucas Giolito, I think he still has a chance to really break out, but it's kind of an up and down career for him. Pitcher of the year, double A, touted like by MLB pipeline, 14 out of 50 for the Nationals, Greg Nellich, as like the number one overall prospect coming to the majors, struggled a little bit with the uh, Nationals. Some may argue that the Nationals probably brought him up a little too quickly. Um, that's what some say. Eventually gets traded to the White Sox, struggles, starts to pitch well, and then I think struggling again like the last few starts or so, last couple starts. I don't know. I feel like he still has a chance to get it together. Chris Sale, 71 out of 99 for the White Sox, and Zach Collins. Nice one, TJ. Nice Zach Collins autograph. Great catching prospect for the White Sox. And he has a nice autograph, too, so hopefully, hopefully he'll keep that up. Already halfway there. All right. Oh, the the old, the old what? First pitch ground out for Muncie? No, he was. It was a one and one count. All right. John Peterson grounds out. Great. All right. Well. CT3, it's all up to you. 
So Gabriel, people who are watching on TV or whatever may may get the result before uh, before MLB.com game day tells me the result. Come on, Dodgers. To the mark. the Marlins are supposed to lose 110 games. When are they going to lose those games? Lose like 150 games. Half their season win total. Uh, Chris Taylor lines out to left fielder Cameron Maven. Alright, there's Mike Trout. We saw his autograph earlier. That was nice. And Raphael Devers. Nice Raphael Devers autograph for David and the Red Sox. And Sam Tra I feel like we don't see a lot of Sam Travis autographs, Davey. Adam Roder, you got robbed what game? There's Sam Travis. On the other side, we've got Big Boppy. There's Manny Margot. And Paul's kid, Cal Quantrill. Did we get robbed this game? Yeah, Gabriel was saying there was something about some sort of Bach that tied the game or something like that. Padres with that one. That's uh, Tim Haynes with the Friars. And the next autograph is... Another Mike Clevenger for Nino and the Tribe. Dodgers. Still early. Still early. When's it, when's it not early in the season again? Mid-May? June? It's not early anymore? After two solid months. I can still say it's still early, I think. It's only April. Still April. End of April. Still April. I'm still going to say it's still early. One, one. What's going on? Bam. So with Acuna coming up, so Ronald Acuna is coming up. They just announced that. Gabriel let us know about that here in the room. And it's been confirmed by old Matt Kelly of MLB.com. Braves are calling up pros top prospect Ronald Acuna Jr. from Triple A Gwyn Gwynnet? Gwynnet? Huh. I'm going to go with Gwynnet. A source told MAB.com's Mark Bowman, Acuna is supposed to uh, is expected to join the team Wednesday in Cincinnati. Club has not confirmed though. Acuna is the uh, game's number two overall prospect per MLB pipeline, ranked among the league's best players in spring training, slashing a 432, 519, 727. Wow. What is that? That's like a 1.3 OPS. Four home runs, 11 RBIs, and Grapefruit League action. Steal bases too. 
All right. Jose Canseco. Look at this. Eight out of 25. Was not expecting that. And that's Red Sox. That's right. I have vague, I have vague, vague memories. Maybe from some TV show or something of Red Sox edition of Jose Canseco. Wow. Shares Red Sox record of five straight games with a home run. Huh. Did not know that. Red Sox edition going to Davey. Out of 50, Bregman for the Strohs. That'll go to Stephen Kendrick. Stephen K with that one. And Jorge Mateo, who's on the A's now, I think. But this is still Yankees edition going to EA Sports. It's in the game. There you go, Eric. He was like, I didn't, I didn't even know he played for the for the Red Sox. 215 out of 250. Ian Anderson. Nice Ian Anderson for the Braves. There's the auto. Aledmi's DS reveals Anthony Alford for the Blue Jays. That goes to Nino. And the Blue Jays. There you go, sir. Bravos for Ed Aarons gets the Ian Anderson. High round draft pick. Third overall in 2016. What, all, all for <laughs> Gabe's like, I have like, yeah, Gabe, Gabe was Gabe was working hard in these Bowman's best breaks a year or so ago. Jake Arietta reveals AJ Puck. Puck it. Going to Scott V. You should be able to. You should be able to trade like a million of those Alford autographs for uh, for one. Was it Vlad Junior? Is is in this set one Vlad Junior autograph? There should be a buyback program. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck. Now, chances are, looking at the time, this will probably be our last break of the night. I don't think anything else is really close, and I think by now, most everyone will be like, all right, we're going to focus on 2018 Bowman Baseball for tomorrow. I'm glad we did this, because we only had one of these cases left, and we've just been sitting there all lonely with seven teams left or something like that. So I appreciate everybody digging deep on this break and getting it knocked out. Appreciate that. So we'll probably start wrapping things up as soon as this break is over. I'll stick around while I kind of shut down the store, see if there's any last minute questions or anything like that on Bowman Baseball for tomorrow. Um, if you want to know, uh, you know, like what teams have what hits or something like that, definitely, definitely ask after the end of this break. And we'll kind of look it up and glance at the checklist together. I'll uh, drop the link to my uh, 2018 Bowman Baseball Guide. I think people will like that. Get some additional information on the uh, on the teams and the players that you can get. Uh, autographs only. So I just have the autograph checklist in a spreadsheet and some additional information. Kind of, kind of get everything you need there. All right, here we go. You Darvish leads things off. Behind Zach Collins is Anthony Banda. Uh, Ed, the movie man with the Diamondbacks. Although I don't think he's with the D-backs anymore. I think he went to Tampa Bay in that Steven Souza Jr. deal, perhaps. And there's Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. Davey with the Dodgers. Up and coming star for the Dodgers. 
He drafted him out of high school, so it might be a minute or two before we see him. It'll be interesting to see what they do with him. Because of that guy. That guy kind of plays same position. I think they're trying to get him to move to shift over to second to see if they can do that. And Lucas Giolito. Another one for Greg Nellich and the Nats. Out of 250, there's Jose Altuve and Ozzie Albius. That's a nice one, Ed. Ed Aarons. Brave Braves. If I'm not mistaken, they still have scored the most runs in the National League. The Braves. Trying to make sleeve up that Altuve for uh, for Stephen K. I think that's, that's, that stat still holds true. Now then, Albius is one of the reasons why. And, and if Cunha starts to hit. They've got they've got quite a uh, they've got Riley way right Austin Riley I'm blanking on that guy's name but yeah they've got a they've got a pretty young core that's pretty terrifying a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of teams with great farm systems that are ready to to like to bust out at any moment next year ne ne maybe next one to three seasons or something like that. Phillies are one of those teams. The Pirates could be one of those teams. Yankees definitely have a young farm system. Red Sox, Dodgers. A or uh, Braves. A's have some guys too. Braves for sure. White Sox. I know the White Sox aren't playing good baseball this year, but they've got some I mean, three, three, and three seasons. See what happens there. The Astros still have like they still have guys coming up the ranks too. Kyle Tucker or something like that. One of those guys. All right, there's Riley Pint, 92 out of 99 for the Rockies. Behind Miguel Sano, it get yeah, Twins are one of those teams. Blake Snell, another Blake Snell for the Rays. Tim. Last spot, Mojo striking again. Lightning strikes twice. Fifty-two out of ninety-nine for the Rockies. Alex Carmichael with the Rocks. Kyle Schwarber, nice. 45 out of 99. Kyle Schwarber for Jared Perkins and the Cubbies. Nice. Oh, I see that you got the Angels and the Cubs. That was a smart move because there is a Mike Trout, Chris Bryant dual autograph. That would be sad times if I had to randomize that. Be very sad times. All right, just a couple more to go. We got Justin Dunn. We started with a Justin Dunn. Looks like we're going to end with, with another Justin Dunn for Jared Rupp and the Mets. Phase, what's going on? All right, almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. There's the motorcycle racer. There's David Dahl. And the last autograph is Aaron Blair, rookie auto for Ed. 
and the Braves. Bravos. And there's the boxer, Nolan Arenado, and there's Mickey Monia. We haven't seen a Moniac in a while. All right, there you have it, folks. Break 43, Pick Your Team 43 of 2016, Bowman's Best Baseball from 2016. Let's do some randomizing. One dice roll for all the randomizers. Good luck to everybody. One dice roll to rule them all. One dice roll to bind them. Something like that. All right, mirror image cards, just the regular mirror image cards. We'll go left, right on those. The atomic version of it, the uh, Indians and the Brewers get to battle that out. Lindor and Arcia. Everybody from Ed down to Greg and everybody in between has a shot at that $25 of break credit. Winner take all, name on top after six times. Three and a three, six the hard way. Left, right, first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Left side. So all the left side cards will get those mirror images. Next one, three and a three, six times for the uh, atomic refractor mirror image. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stays with the Cleveland Indians after six times. Nino with this mirror image right here. It's not a bad comparison, I think. All right, and last but not least, 25 bucks of break credit after, once again, three and a three, six the hard way. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Michael Gallucci, after six times, 25 bucks of break credit coming your way into your virtual pocket, and I'm sure something uh, something fruitful on jazpyshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. Joe for Jazpy's Hobbyland. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.